lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. I'm reviewing the series The Salmon of Doubt. This is the third comic series from IDW, interpreting Douglas Adams' creation of Dirk Gently. So this is nine issues total. Issue one, or volume one, has issues one through five. Volume two has issues six through nine. Art and writing on the series is by Arvind Ethan David and Elias Kar Karesis? Yeah, those names are definitely in the description below. So this storyline references and builds off of things that happened in The Interconnectedness of All Kings and A Spoon Too Short. And it definitely builds off the BBC America show. And it also references the first book. So this is probably not the best place to start with Dirk Gently if you were planning on going through all of it. I'm just saying. <laughs> There's a few things in here that are kind of spoilery. Um, one thing in particular that is very spoilery for the book, so I don't recommend this if you have not been paying attention to Dirk Gently before. So Dirk Gently is a British detective. He is a holistic detective, which means that he looks at everything, not just the case that he's working on, but anything that's happening in his life, happening around the case could even remotely possibly even maybe sort of be connected and things that seem like there's no way they're connected. They can all relate to each other. Everything in the universe works together. And so when Dirk is investigating a case, he takes into account all of it. And that's what holistic means. He prides himself on being more clever than Sherlock Holmes, who will eliminate the impossible. And Dirk's like, no, it, don't eliminate the impossible. It could actually be what's impossible. This is definitely a sci-fi slash fantasy series. And it's definitely got tons and tons of humor and quirky characters. It definitely feels like Douglas Adams, and I love it. So that's my general review of Dirk Gently, without getting too specific. So the case that is being solved in this storyline is Dirk's own case. It's himself. Dirk has been having memories and dreams of things that never happened to him. So he's not misremembering things that happened in the past. There are suddenly new memories that never happened to him, and he wants to find out why he's remembering stuff that didn't happen. So he and his friend Sally, who is not his assistant and not quite his girlfriend either, Dirk's interpersonal relationships aren't always the greatest. Let's just put that out first. So Dirk and Sally head off to Cambridge to meet with Dirk's colleague, friend, professor, Reg, who has a time machine. His and like actual entire office is like a time machine. So Dirk wants to use the time machine to go back in time and revisit his past and see what actually happened and which memories are true and which memories are false. However, this doesn't exactly go as planned. Things happen. Sally kind of gets sucked off into her own little adventure. Dirk's trying to get Sally back. Sally's trying to sort out, sort out Dirk's past and help him. There's also another storyline, if this wasn't confusing enough, involving Dirk's cat, Bernice, who also manages to run off and have her own adventure. And all of these adventures involve time and parallel universes and parallel timelines, basically. It's probably all I can tell you guys without spoiling the story, except that uh, TV show Dirk shows up, as does Todd and Farrah and Bart from the show, they all make appearances and are intertwined within the storyline also. And where comic book Dirk joins television show Dirk is basically where the first series is happening. So if you haven't watched the first series yet and you were planning on watching it without spoilers, I would check that out first because this just follows that same timeline. The adventure he has with Todd and with Farrah. So Bart also has her own storyline in here. She is a holistic assassin. She and Dirk are kind of intertwined with their stories and why they're intertwined is spoilery, so I won't tell you that. But it's fun to see Bart because she doesn't quite grasp human interactions. I mean, she's awkward around humans. She doesn't quite understand us. Um, she just knows that the universe tells her to kill somebody and then she's got to kill him, which, I mean, is simultaneously really honest. She's just doing what... She she thinks is right but at the same time her like sense of right and wrong is a little bit twisted there's also a storyline in here with farah who is a security person from the television show 
and getting to see how she went into private security and her backstory. I really enjoyed that. And we also have a storyline with Todd from the television show who ends up being Dirk's unwitting assistant, maybe reluctant assistant, and he's got his own things going on. Like I said, you probably really want to watch the television show first. Because it's hard to explain who these characters are without spoiling the show for you. My favorite part of the series, though, was probably watching Dirk himself. And all the different iterations of Dirk and all the different timelines. And all his different histories in both comic book Dirk and television Dirk. Seeing all of it and really getting to explore who Dirk is and what it means to be Dirk Gently. And... It's just fun. It's kind of like Doctor Who with having different regenerations of the Doctor. Like, they're all basically the same, but that doesn't mean they don't have their own personalities and quirks and histories and things that they care about more than others. So I love seeing both Dirks interact um, with each other and within their own timelines. And I also totally was there for the Sally-Dirk relationship, which Sally really wants Dirk to be her boyfriend, but Dirk is kind of completely oblivious. As a continuation of the Dirk Gently mythology, I love this. I love the fact that it draws from all of it. It references the books, the television, the comics. All of it gets intertwined and played with. And I love the way that the timelines are messed about with and histories and just really getting down to who these characters are also when they start reappearing. Well, especially when Dirk starts reappearing in different forms. Um, and also how important either humans are and human relationships are as we definitely get to see that through Dirk who maybe doesn't quite get it as well as well as Bart who also doesn't quite get humans. I really love the Cat Bernice's storyline also and Dirk uh, Dirk's affinity for finding lost cats was definitely brought up at few points and I appreciated those nods. There are also a few nods in here to Doctor Who. I love this comic series. All of it. Super glad to have these. This kind of feels like an ending though especially since we found out that the television show got canceled after two seasons. Um, so I really hope that there are more Dirk Gently comics I want to keep reading. On the whole, I really enjoyed these. I gave them four stars. And hopefully this review made sense. I know it's really all over the place. So the series is quirky and funny and light and enjoyable. Dirk, I mean, how can you not love Dirk? He is just so much fun. So yes. I do recommend these, but I definitely recommend starting with the television show first. Watch series one of the BBC America show before you read these. That's my definite recommendation. Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.